In this simple Photoshop tutorial, we're going to see how we can create our own seamless textures, and we'll be working with a plugin that's free from Redfield.com, and that's a freeware plugin that's your seamless workshop. It'll let you make seamless textures very easily in Photoshop. Then we're going to take some free art that we downloaded from Artamp.com, bring that into Photoshop, add some textures and some embevel effect to that to transform what is a simple vector logo into a kind of high-end or texturized looking graphic that we can put on a t-shirt. Kind of like some of the looks or the feels that we see with Affliction, Hollister, and some of the other fashion looks that are in today. Now we're going to do this with a simple object, but if you want to take the time, you can take complex vector graphics and begin to set up very complex, intricate, and detailed designs that have this look using these techniques in Photoshop. So to get started, the first thing we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick a texture. I recently went out and took a bunch of pictures of textures here so that I could create some texture files for my Photoshop here. And I've got a bunch of different ones here, but I'll just grab one of these textures and I'll start to work with that in Photoshop. And I actually think I'll grab this one right over here. I'll just left click and drag that right into Photoshop and it will open up. Next thing I want to do is crop this down a little bit and we'll just go ahead and crop out a section of this right there, just about a square, and we'll double click that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to knock the white out of this. I like to have my textures as transparent. Not because of anything um, significant in Photoshop, but if I want to go back and use those files for other things, create brushes and do different things with them, I find that going and being able to grab things out of texture files I've saved and work with them for brushes and stuff, it's just better if I have them set up, for me anyway, with a transparent background. So I've got this action called whiteout there's a tutorial on artamp.com that will show you how to create this action in the vintage t-shirt design tutorial and that will show you how to take grayscale images and knock all the white out and then use vintage art to create free t-shirt designs, public domain type art, antique art, stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and knock this white out. So I'll go to my actions here, click on white out and come down here and click on play selection and I've got that knocked out. Now I want to take my image and I want to go to image size and bring that back down from 900 back down to 150 DPI and we'll go ahead and resample that. I'm going to go ahead and delete my background here. I'm not going to need that. Yes. And then I'm going to have to take this image. You'll notice if I go to filter and down here my red field is grayed out. You have to have RGB. So I've got to go to image mode and click on RGB. Now that it's RGB if I go to filter and down to my red field plugins and then I go to seamless workshop you'll see that I've got this texture file that I can start to manipulate the way that's blended together. You notice as I move these little golden squares around slide things around I'm able to change how these files are put together as a texture as you can see here. Now there's a lot of control and you'll need to spend some time experimenting with this but you'll be able to very quickly and very easily create some incredible seamless textures with this free plugin from Redfield Plugins. I'm going to go ahead and click on the little green check mark down here and apply that and then I'll go ahead and zoom in here and I'm going to go ahead and resize this. So I want to hit control T and fill up my entire image with this texture and I want to right click here and go fit in window. Select apply and get my zoom tool fit on screen and then go back to control T. Now if you leave any space around anywhere in your canvas then your texture is not going to be seamless. And I want to zoom out and make sure I've got all that set up correctly here. Zoom out and back and then control T one more time. You can see this comes out past here. And you want this butted right up in your image so that and it'll snap for you there just so that there's no space between your edges. And I'll select apply. Now I want to go here and check my image size again. Image, image size. And I'm approximately 4.2 by 4.5 inches at 150 dpi. Now I want to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go 3.0 and select OK. And then I'm going to go File and Save As. And I'll save this in my Desktop and Photoshop Textures. And we'll call this New Cracks. And it'll be my own cracked paint texture. Select OK. And then I'll minimize this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this wing delete that I have here and we'll delete that. Go grab my art pack from artamp.com, which is right here, which is a PDF file. Left click, drag that into Photoshop, and release. I'll get my import PDF dialog box here. I'm going to bring this in at 25 inches in width and 300 dB here because, I, because I'd want resolution that I could actually print a t-shirt on. If I bring that in really small and apply my effects to it, it's going to be too small. 
try to pin it out, I'm not going to have the resolution. I select OK. Let that open in Photoshop. Once that's open, I'm just going to go ahead and crop out this one delete that I'll be working with here in the left. So I'm going to go over to my toolbar and click on the crop tool. And we'll just bring that right out around the area you want to crop and double click in that. Then I'll zoom in here. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and just select this peripheral graphic data that I have floating around here and delete it. I won't want that with my image. Then we'll come up here to select and delete select or I could hit control D. Go back to our pick tool and what I'm going to do now is just left click, hold down, drag this right onto my t-shirt. I will maximize my t-shirt image here and then I'm going to go down here to my zoom, right click, fit in screen and then I'm going to go ahead and hit control T and we'll resize this to about the size we'd want on our t-shirt should be right about there very simple graphic and then very quickly creating our own textures, seamless textures and we'll apply that to this graphic. I'll go ahead and apply this and then what I'll do is I'll take this particular image and I'll just go to filter texture texturizer and then once that's open I can come over here from texturizer you can see the texture is set to canvas but I want to use my own texture so I'm going to come over to this little circle with the arrow in it click on that and select load texture I've got my new cracks right here saved as a Photoshop I'll open that and now you can see here's my texture applied to my graphics it's kind of a cracked distressed grunge type texture applied now I can come up here and I can work with my scaling bring that up or down and radically change what's going on there I can also adjust my relief the depth or the amount of this texture I'll be getting with this graphic or the amount of distress you might say if it's coming from the texture I can also change my light direction. I might come down here to bottom right, get a very different look there. Come up here to left top, as you can see, and that'll affect that also. So you can see here that the way this texture was set up seamless, you can't see this coming together. If I didn't have those edges set up seamless, there'd be spots or areas where the texture wasn't being applied in here. Now, depending on the type of effects you're looking for, if you set up your edges correctly, you don't have to always be seamless, but it does help. So. This is how we apply this texture or our own custom texture to the graphic. Go ahead and select OK here. And now what I might actually do, go and see how this looks a little bit closer here. And I'm happy with that. What I might actually want to do is come in and put a layer style on this, maybe bevel it. So I could just come over to layer one. We'll double click and rename that to lease so we know what that is. We'll just double click on our text and we'll know what that layer is. And I can just double click with my left mouse button come up here to my layer styles and apply some other effects to this graphic. I'm going to hit cancel and I want to zoom in here so I'll be able to see a little bit better what I'm getting when I start to apply these layer styles. I'll double click again. The first thing I'm going to do is go to bevel and emboss and I'm just going to apply some bevel on to get a little bit of a 3D look. Put some shading and highlighting in there. Blend mode. I want to click on this again and get to my bevel and emboss settings here. We've got inner bevel and you know, we can go in here, we can change our depth of our bevel, bevel. We can change the size, as you can see there. And now you can see we're starting to get a nice 3D look with that texture on there already. We can also change the style of bevel. Like we can come down here to a pillow emboss, and then we can change the size of that. And that would almost make it look like this particular effect is actually embellished into the garment with the shading and highlighting, as you can see there. Now there's a number of different settings you can experiment with here. And the best way to figure out how to use them is just go ahead and experiment with them. You can change the angle of your emboss or your bevel effect here. You can come in here, change the size, change the softness. You can go from smooth to chisel hard, as you can see there. And we'll go back to smooth here. And we could go ahead. And actually, I'll go ahead and stop here. But you can go ahead and apply these type of effects with your own custom seamless textures. I'll select OK and we'll zoom to fit on screen, we'll zoom back in there, but you can see just by applying a few effects we've been able to add a, really change that simple free vector graphic into something that looks a little bit better on a t-shirt or a piece of apparel. Once again you can grab the Seamless Tiles plugin at redfieldplugins.com that's www.redfieldplugins.com and you can grab the free art here at www.artamp.com and we've got our own section where we've got literally hundreds of free designs and files you can work with, high quality stuff to create your designs and do your graphic design work.